All right, guys, here's going to be a quick tutorial on sh uh, adjusting shift points, getting that HP 70 uh, shifting better for you, especially when it's in a Jeep and you don't want to be downshifting the eighth gear going 35 miles per hour. Quick disclaimer, I am not a professional tuner. Any of these changes you are making to your tune are at your own risk and um, do your own research before you make changes to your tune. But remember, have fun and enjoy the video. Um, so before we actually get into the shift scheduling, let's get into a little bit of the reading of the transmission to make sure we know what uh, shift pattern we're using. So we'll pull up the actual uh, scanner, the VCM scanner. We'll go over to, we have to plug it OBD into the transmission OBD port. And then we need to actually kind of set up our layout. If you're not familiar with HP tuners, there's plenty of tutorials online on setting up your layout. Um, but when we're actually looking at doing a log, there's several important things that we need to be uh, taking note of. Um, if you look over here, I have it, it's called Shift ID. So you need to make sure that that's one of the um, actual channels you're logging. That you can see it's channel number five. We'll be uh, we'll look back onto that and I'll show you what that actually means. The other thing you want to look at is the actual accelerator position. It'll just be in percentage. The trans drive mode says normal. That means you're not in sport mode, you're in just your regular mode. So this tutorial is going to be kind of going over the regular drive mode, the, the normal mode, not really the sport mode shift patterns. If you see this, uh, if you follow the log, you can follow the shift ID and see it starts at 5. At some point it jumps to 10, right there. Um, if you are really aggressive on it, um, it might go to different files. So what we're looking at here is actually the shift ID type. It's different patterns per, for whatever type the transmission feels that you're in. Um, so if you look over here, the aggression zero, that's the other thing you need to look at. If it's aggression zero, one, two, three, the sport mode is aggression three. So the normal drive mode is, I'm pretty sure it's always aggression zero. So you can see it was an actual shift pattern five. It actually jumped up to 10 also. Um, if you're more aggressive, it might go to 15, go to 20. It's not really, it's it's not really organized as like the higher the number, the more uh, aggressive it is. It's just the sh transmission knows where it should be. Um, so the only tables that I really adjusted for my uh, tune right now is all the tables in aggression zero. I actually just made them all exactly the same. Once you figure out kind of what aggression or what uh, shift tables you're using, then you can know what patterns you need to change. So to go into HP tuners and find out where to go, you go and you have it plugged in, you connect the vehicle, you go up to transmission, go to shift scheduling up here, then you go to the actual aggression tables, or these are the shift pattern tables. Um, so let's say you click on one, and the way you read this is, this isn't an engine RPM, this is in the, uh, the actual, like the shaft on the end of the transmission. So that's gonna be different from your actual engine RPM. So this is when at 425 RPMs of the transmission, um, it's going to shift from one to two, two to three, and then this is the actual accelerator uh, pedal position. So at 20% pedal, it's going to shift at this RPM. What uh, a resource that I used online is an actual Excel table that converts all of this into engine RPM. So what you can do is copy, this and then I will put a link to where I grab the Excel table. This is what it looks like. So you'll copy and you'll paste it into this table right here. So once it's pasted in here, you also have to you can put in your uh, your pedal position uh, percentage position, um, and then you come down here and this it'll show you what RPMs this number is converted into. Here I've already changed my shift timings, that way all of my shifts, no matter what throttle I'm at, unless I go more throttle, if I'm at minimum throttle below 20, um, they will shift at 2000 RPMs. I'd like that consistency, I don't like to drop gears really quick, I don't like, I just like knowing exactly what my transmission should be doing at whatever throttle I'm using. 
Um, seven to eight, I have it going a little bit lower RPMs. Um, that way, if I'm going 45 miles per hour, it doesn't hold in seventh gear. It just drops down to eighth gear and just holds there. Over here, you can adjust the um, upshift timing. And then you can kind of figure out what you like. You just want to make sure that the two to one isn't too high. If you use these uh, factory, if you come here, they have actual factory numbers. You go down to data and it'll give you different examples of putting in here. You, I, I, I don't like some of the numbers that they have for first gear. If you put it in there and sometimes you floor it, it wants to downshift in the first gear. I don't, I don't like that. So let's go back over to the actual table. So we copied and pasted our file onto here. You come down here, you can see what RPMs it, uh, it has you do. So if we go to the stock table, so let's go back to the stock file and see what those RPMs are that it wants you to shift at. So we gotta remember aggression five or map five was where we mostly were. I have on my compare file, the factory tune that came on the transmission. So we'll go to five. We'll see the original settings that were on there. Copy it all. Go to this Excel sheet. Paste it all in there. So you can see here, each shift is commanding that, let's say even at 20% throttle, I'm gonna shift from first to second at 1200 RPMs. You can kind of read kind of exactly what your transmission is demanding that the, the or the motor, the ECM, TCM is demanding that the transmission does. Um, I, I, I don't like it. It just, it's way too soon. So once you have this file in here, you, you put your factory one in there. You can come down here, realize you don't like the way it is. I come down to this next table. This is where you put your RPMs that you want to shift at. On this side, you can select whether it's going to be mild, shift pattern, moderate, aggressive, or for towing. I start with the towing because I want all my shifts to happen at 2,000 RPMs, and then I can go in and fine-tune it. So, for instance, all these are fine. At 7 to 8, I lowered my down to, let's say, 1650, and this one we could say at 1600, it will, let's lower this a little bit more. So let's go 1500. It will shift from seven to eight at 5% throttle input. At 10% throttle input, at 1600 RPMs, it'll shift down. Um, I just, I don't use this. I use the beginning couple boxes of here. I just don't want to be at downshifting if I'm below 4800 downshifting the first gear it's just it's too much slamming on the transmission is in my opinion you know where factory it would you'd have to be under 1700 rpms and floor it before it would even go into first gear so we can take these rpms here and then what it does is automatically converts it into the um the actual transmission output shaft speed copy this whole table Paste the whole table. All right, so here's my actual tune that I changed. So I'll show you exactly which ones. I, this is shift pattern zero. If I go to the factory tune, these are all the numbers that I kept the same. So you can see right here, I don't want it bouncing in and out of first gear and second gear. So I kept it all really low. I gotta be going very slow for it to go back into first gear, even from third down to second. I gotta be going pretty slow. Um, that is my recommendations. Use all this from the factory. Uh, I use shift pattern zero. The other thing you want to keep in mind is uh, the seven to eight. At what throttle position do you want it to downshift? Um, you don't want it to downshift if you're, let's say, over 1600 RPMs and you just give it a little bit of input. You don't want to be kind of searching for that eighth and seventh gear you want to make sure those rpms are low enough at a low throttle input if the rpms are too low at a higher input for the throttle then you're just going to be really pushing that throttle hard before it even downshifts so at for instance 20 percent throttle if i'm under 1500 rpms it's going to downshift 
All right, so let's say you uh, adjust your file. Now you want to make some fine tune adjustments. So you want to change the RPMs a little bit differently. So you copy this file that you're using, come over to the Excel sheet, put it all the way in here, copy it here. You got your engine RPMs. What you want to do is click, copy this, these numbers, come over to the actual engine RPM area on this Excel sheet, right click, Go here to essentially only copy or paste the values. Because if you just hit paste, it changes all these numbers super high because it's using whatever equation it has. So you want to copy the values. Now you can go in, you can adjust these to 4,000. Don't do that. And it'll, it'll affect the table below, your actual output shaft speed. Don't adjust them to 4,000. So that way you don't have to use these uh, pre-made files anymore. Now you can have your already made ones that don't have any of these numbers changed whatsoever. And then you can kind of fine tune where you want to go. So if you want to shift a little bit higher, if you want you know, 1800 RPMs for all of these, you can take these and copy it and put it into your file. Make sure when you're doing this, you make the changes to all five of these tables. That way you can have some consistency in your shift patterns. If for some reason this does not work for you, um, you can do the log and make sure that your shift ID is on number five. You know, like I said, it goes to 10 at some points. If you really are hard on it, it might go up to different numbers, 15, 20, 25. Um, if it is a different, like an aggression, um, different aggression number, maybe aggression number one, aggression two, aggression three, then you will have more information or you will be able to change these tables around a little bit. And those are the only tables I've adjusted so far. So we will uh, continue to play and see if we make any other changes and then I'll keep everybody posted. If you guys want this uh, this log, if you guys want the changes, shoot me an email and um, or leave a comment with your email, and I will send it over to you guys. Other than that, um, enjoy. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Again, I just want to emphasize this area of the table. Just use the aggression or the shift map zero. This area. Don't use the factory uh, settings here. Don't use any of the settings on the side for this area of your table. You don't want that on your tune. Please, don't do that. All right, guys, what would a cool video be without a drive test? Before that, I want to show you something exciting I installed. That is what we call a sport mode button. Turns red when sport mode's on. All right, so we were able to adjust the sport mode also. I just went in there and was able to see what shift schedule it's on, but this is a uh, regular mode.
change the uh, shift timing is that like for instance I'm going like 35 miles per hour and I'm only at 1750 RPMs where normally it'd be shifted down it'd be running like this I, I just I don't like the way that is it's such a low RPM I'd rather it be happy and a little bit higher RPM so Again, this is my sport button. Turns to red. I will put the link in the description from Amazon, like seven bucks. Green is regular, red is sport mode. Then here's that shift boot that I made. I think it turned out pretty good. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.